What's up friends? I'm so glad to be back with you today as we continue talking about diligence. Do you remember our definition and memory verse for diligence? I brought along a friend to help us out. Kylie, take it away. Hey everyone, are you ready to practice our definition and memory verse for diligence? Let's start with our definition. Consistently working with all my heart to bring glory to God. Awesome, will you say that with me again? Consistently working with all my heart to bring glory to God. Fantastic. Now let's try our memory verse. So my dear brothers and sisters, be strong and immovable. Always work enthusiastically for the Lord, for you know that nothing you do for the Lord is ever useless. 1 Corinthians 15, 58. Great job, you did it. And now back to the teaching. Okay friends, this week our finish line is we can focus on our work until it's done. And remember our finish line from our first week was God created us to work. So we know it's important to do the work God has given us. This week we're going to learn that it's also important to finish the work that God has given us. All right grown-ups, it's time for the first question. When you see it pop up on your screen, pause the video until you're ready to move on. In our story today, we are going to be talking about the most famous builder in the entire world. You may have heard of him. He invited every single animal on earth to ride in this giant boat with him. Who do you think it is? Turn with me now in your Bible to Genesis chapter six to find out more. Starting in verse nine, this is the account of Noah and his family. Noah was a righteous man, the only blameless person living on earth at the time and he walked in close fellowship with God. Noah was the father of three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Now God saw that the earth had become corrupt and was filled with violence. God observed all this corruption in the world for everyone on earth was corrupt. So God said to Noah, I have decided to destroy all living creatures for they have filled the earth with violence. Yes, I will wipe them all out along with the earth. Build a large boat from cypress wood and waterproof it with tar, inside and out. Then construct decks and stalls throughout its interior. Make the boat 450 feet long, 75 feet wide, and 45 feet high. Leave an 18 inch opening below the roof all the way around the boat. Put the door on the side and build three decks inside the boat, lower, middle, and upper. Did y'all hear that? 450 feet long? That's one whole football field and a half of another. Talk about a big boat and an even bigger job to do. Let's pause. I want you to take a couple of minutes to talk about what those verses just told you about Noah with the grown-up you're watching with. Grown-ups, that's your cue. Get ready to pause the video. about you, but I think that the job God gave Noah was probably pretty hard and came with lots of different challenges. Verse 9 says, Noah was the only righteous person on earth and everyone else was totally wicked. The Bible doesn't tell us what the wicked people thought of Noah and his work, but I would guess they weren't very encouraging. However, because Noah loved and trusted God, he did the work God had given him to do. Oh, and guess what? He didn't have the fancy tools we have today to help him, so it took him over 100 years to finish building the ark. Do you think Noah continued to work diligently? Genesis 6.22 says, Noah did everything exactly as God had commanded him. Remember our finish line? We can focus on our work until it's done. Even though the job that Noah was given was really hard and it took a really long time, he did everything the way that God had asked him to. Noah consistently worked with all his heart to bring glory to God. He was diligent and he didn't give up. So was there a purpose to all this work that God asked Noah to do? Absolutely. Just like our memory verse tells us, nothing that we do for the Lord is ever useless. God brought two of every kind of animal to Noah's ark. After all the animals, Noah and his family got on board the ark. It rained for 40 days and 40 nights, flooding the whole earth. But God used the ark that Noah built to save all the animals, Noah and his family from the flood. 
That's pretty amazing. All right, one final question is headed your way, grown-ups. Get ready to pause the video in three, two, one. Do you know who modeled focusing on finishing his work perfectly? Jesus. How? God gave Jesus a very important job to do when coming down to earth from his home in heaven. Jesus came here to die on the cross for our sins. Sin is anything we think, say, or do that does not please or honor God. Jesus completed his work when he died and then rose again from the grave three days later, defeating death and giving us all the opportunity to believe in him and his finishing work on the cross. Friends, it is because of Jesus' work on the cross that we can now be saved and live in a right relationship with God now and forever. As our video comes to an end, take some time to pray with the grown-up you're watching with. Pray that God would help you focus on finishing your work until it's done so that you can be diligent with the work God has given you. Thank God for loving you and for Jesus' finishing work on the cross. Until next time, see you later.